Hey, what's up everybody? JR Specie here with another video and today we are going to be reviewing a box of stuff that I bought. Now it's not just any stuff. It's one of my favorite collectibles. I have no idea what's in this box. I just know that there's a lot in here and it was worth the price that I paid. So, um, and there's my daughter. Her pants are a little bit higher than they should be. Um, she has had an icy in her mouth since she got here. And there's my other daughter with the awkward stare. And anyways, if you hear any noise in the background, it's them. However, we're going to look at this box and we are going to see what we got. Okay, hold on a second. Thank you. All right, here's the box, and as you can see, there's a standard banana box. So you see how big this box is. This box is pretty large, and it's full of <laughs> my lovely assistant, Maya, hemming it up, and, me. and my lovely and other assistant. All right, it is a box full of starting lineups. So I bought this box from another guy <clears throat> who didn't want them. And there are several in here, and we will count them as we go. Uh, I see an 88 right there on top. I see some Cooperstown collections, some classic doubles. We're going to count them. In fact, I can see this one here. That's another old one because the back. Uh, we'll count them up and see how we did, and I'll tell you how much I paid for them after the video. All right, and we're back. I got the camera set up. And let's go ahead and grab the first one out of the box. First one out of the box is, I believe this is a 1991. Dad? Yeah? There's no toast. I think we only have bread. Uh, okay, I'll go to the store and buy some toast later. Oh, uh, 1990 edition. Okay, so Dad? Ben. Will you stop? There's no cheese in the cheesy ravioli. Oh, I must have just got the plain ones. Must okay. You sure you're not just eating pasta? I don't know. I'm not that smart. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry, that was my daughter's attempt at humor, and it wasn't very funny. Anyways, okay. Ben uh, McDonald. Liar! 1990. Uh, this was a big prospect back in the day. Uh, didn't pan out, but he was a big, strong, tall power pitcher. Kind of like a Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, Nolan Ryan. That was what they were projecting him to be. I think this was an extended series, so like a later... A later run, kind of like a tops update. Uh, real quick, I just want to uh, mention one thing about starting lineups. Um, I love them. I've been collecting them for since they came out in 1988. And um, one of the new investments that I've been doing is uh, I've been pulling out the cards. Okay, so um, I think that uh, these are probably have super low pop reports with PSA 10s and even maybe 9s and the reason why is because these corners uh, of the bubble here where it's held in where the cards held in are rounded and obviously the corners are square so you, if you see right here uh, you can kind of tell I'll try to show you here it's that corner already dented and my phone's not uh, auto focusing uh, come on okay anyways you see the corner that happens a lot on these, so if you can pull one out, even if it's a common card, and get it graded, and if it comes back a 10, uh, I think that you're looking at pretty decent money. So I've been doing that for years. Uh, I've actually got over, let's see, I've got probably, I don't know, probably around 2,000 starting lineups uh, still in the package. I've been buying them forever. Usually I buy big collections, I pay a dollar a piece on them. And I uh, bought them in the thousands before. So, I mean, I bought them in like the several hundreds, like three, four, five hundred at a time. So, I've probably got, uh, I've probably got between two and three thousand, I'll say, realistically. Here's a 1995 Cooperstown Collection Eddie Matthews. Very nice. And these aren't in great, the greatest shape, but I'm okay with that because if they're beat up, like if the card's totally roached, then I'm, I'm more than happy to pull the card out, this card out. If this card, as they call this a card, sorry guys, uh, they call this a card. If this card is roached, then I'll pull this card out, and if it's, and I'll get it graded, and then I'll just display the, the figure uh, with the rest of my loose ones, which I don't have too many loose. Uh, I only usually have them loose if they're bought loose. 
because uh, I don't like to open them. But if it's totally roached, I don't mind opening it, and I'll, I'll display it proudly. So, there's that one. All right, another 1995. Oh, no, this is a 96. Hank Greenberg, uh, Jewish baseball player, power hitter back in the day, played for the Tigers. Uh, here he is. Uh, here's the rest of the 90, uh, some more 96 stuff. And here's the back of the 95 one. Just pause that if you'd like. Here's the back of the 90. You can see the... Uh, all the players and stuff like that and then if you see the stars right here that means it's the first time that they had one made so there's that all right moving right along here's a 1988 Eric Davis pretty cool here's the original lineup you guys can pause the video if you'd like a lot of starting lineups they made that first year you can tell which teams were more popular like the Mets uh, this is you know this is right after they were playing really well after the 86 World Series, and then 88, they had a great season. Uh, 87, they were a good team. That's why they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven players on the Mets. Um, and then you see, like, where is it? Uh, sorry, I'm looking here. Um, I don't even... Oh, there it is. Like the Yankees have a lot. You know, teams like the Blue Jays didn't have a lot of players. The Expos, you know, they only had one team or one player. But a lot of them, there's a lot. And then as the years go on, the checklist gets smaller. Uh, 1988 used to be a really, really hot set. And then um, this is what I heard when Kenner <clears throat> sold out to Hasbro. Um, all those rare 1988s that we were all chasing and spending a lot of money on at the at the card shows and stuff. Um, come to find out, they had tons of back stock, brand new cases of everything through the years, and they sold them all to the Dollar Tree. So they ended up being a dollar. So anyway, so that kind of flooded the market, so the value went down on these quite a bit. But there are still a few regional issues that are expensive, like the 88 Utah Jazz, very uh, limited edition. It wasn't specifically made to be a limited edition, but they just didn't make a lot of them, and they were a regional issue out in Salt Lake, and and uh, you could only get them in the west and the west coast basically. So they didn't make a lot of them, they didn't sell a lot of them, and because of that, they're worth quite a bit. And I've got um, almost all. I have, I have three of the four that they made. Uh, here's 1996 Jeff Blake. Here is a uh, 19. 1997 classic double Greg Maddox and Cy Young that's pretty cool I almost thought that was an Angels hat and I thought it was Nolan Ryan at very first glance but it's Braves <laughs> pretty cool now let's see who else they got advertised back here the stadium stars those were fun and then some of the Cooperstown standouts up here the Mick I got the Mick all right let's see what else they got over here guys yeah, so I literally bought this whole whole lot, and I never even looked in it. I just said, oh, that's a lot of starting lineups. I'll take it. Kerry Collins, 96. So that's right after his rookie year in football. It might be his his rookie piece, actually. Um, there's the back of that one. Pretty cool. All right, next we have a... What is this one? 93. 1993 Jeff Bagwell, sporting the cool old Astro style. There we go. Well, this right here, an old price tag here. It says Hall of Fame rookie. So this, I must have bought this right after he got uh, into the Hall of Fame. I'm guessing. Anyways, I'll flip it real quick for you so you can pause it and uh, and uh, check it out. All right, what do we got here? So this is one of those. I think Upper Deck uh, Mattel. I think they made these for Upper Deck. I almost think, but Glenn Rice. It says Michigan. And then his Lakers, uh, Superstars, NBA Superstars. These are a licensed product. Uh, you can get them at like Walmart, Kmart, stuff like that. Probably wherever else in your area. These are made in 90, 1999. So I'd probably rather have this Vince Carter out of all of them because I love Vince Carter. And now I live in Utah and Keith Van Horn was a Ute. Okay, so that's not technically a starting lineup, but it is a... Cool old action figure, sports one. Moises Alou, 1995. 
Expos. He was a really good, good when he played for uh, New York. All right, Chip Low Miller. Look at that thing. Look at his body twisted. Yeah, so he's quite not quite where he's supposed to be. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. I love football ones. I love the helmets. I don't know why. I just always liked football ones. 1993. Alright, next we have 1996 Jim Carrey. I believe this is the guy. Oh no, that was Jim Craig who played in the Miracle, or who was in the Miracle. Uh, 50 cents for a starting lineup. I'd buy them all for 50 cents a piece. I don't even care. I just think that they're cool. One day I want to have like a million of them opened up and just displayed on their own shelf going around a room. And I don't know if it'll look cool or not, but anyways. 1993, I believe, Carlton Fisk Extended Series. Pretty cool. There we go. Alrighty. I'll try to go a little faster. Uh, 1996 Joey Galloway pretty cool I remember on uh, Home Alone uh, Kevin McAllister he, he lines up a bunch of these starting lineups actually I think they're mostly like 88s 89 maybe he lines them all up and he shoots them all with his brother's BB gun that always stood out to me Pat Swilling I used to have this one actually when I was a kid I don't know why uh, I just ended up getting it <laughs> Alrighty, I think I specifically remember a Barry Foster one from back in the day too that I almost bought but the guy wanted too much money for it so that's pretty cool. Steelers, 1993, I think that Swilling is a rookie too and this Foster might be a rookie piece too. Right, moving right along with football, Chris Warren of the Seattle Seahawks 1994 a lot of these have dollar prices on them so apparently the guy was trying to blow them out but uh, either didn't or didn't blow a lot of them out and I ended up buying them all 1994 Garrison Hurst he was a beast that's pretty cool there's that for you I've got uh, you know all of the stars and Hall of Fame. I got, I've got all the best guys and, and along with the worst guys in my collection. So Steve Avery, that's pretty cool. Back when he was a, a beast for Atlanta. That's a 92 with the poster. Pretty cool though. I got the best of the best and the worst of the worst, but I love them all. 1995, Brendan Shanahan. Pretty cool. Uh, I have one starting lineup that's my favorite of all time, and that's the Derek Jeter rookie piece. Here's another Bagwell. Another Bagwell rookie piece. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's a 1996, the Jeter is. There's an Eddie Matthews, 95 Cooperstown collection. Alright, oh, there's a decent one. 1992, Big Hurt. I think his rookie piece was 91. This is an extended series one. Man, I used to chase these. I remember at one point I was buying these things through a catalog. I was spending my whole paycheck on them. Paying full price. So like guys like the Frank Thomas, I was paying like 18 bucks for and stuff. And then shipping, 1995 Jeff Conine. He was a great ball player. Won a World Series with the Marlins in 97. All right, what do you got here? Oh, a Met. Jason Isringhausen. He was a good pitcher, good relief pitcher. Went on to play for the Cardinals. 97 piece. Oh, what else we got here? Oh, this one's slightly opened. I had this one when I was a kid. I had 25 cents. It's a price tag on it. 97 Johnny Damon. That's pretty neat. This one's already open. I'll probably open this one, see if the card's in decent shape. I intend to get it graded because some diehard Johnny Damon fan will. Probably like that card if it comes back a 10. 94. Arturs Urbe. I never heard of this guy. Not a 25 center. Here's the back. Okay. Let's 
Sorry, I'm running out of room on my table. There's an old one. Oh, nice. 88, Jose Canseco. That's pretty cool. Price at a buck. If his card's in decent shape, you know, that's a decent card. But I don't think it's a 10. I think I see a slightly soft corner on top right. Let's see. Moving right along. We still have a handful left. Oops. Here's another uh, Frank Thomas Extended Series. 92 again, so we saw that one already. This is a, this is a double. Okay, another hockey one. This is Felix Potvin. He was a, a great Star Hall of Famer, or um, player back in his day. Maple Leafs, 1995. I think this is a double of Joey Galloway. I think I saw this one here already. So I won't bore you too long with that one. All right, guys, a few more here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think this is a double. Another Sammy. Uh, I'm trying to look and see if I can find the other one. Uh, yeah, I think this is a double. I don't know where it went. Anyways, double this Sammy Sosa. 1999 edition. I think it's a double. I can actually... Oh, you know what? I put that back in the box by accident. That's why I can't find it. So maybe not a double. All right, Timeless Legends, 1996. Dan O'Brien. Does everybody remember when Dan O'Brien and the other guy were, you know, I don't know. They were like super, super popular uh, Olympians, triathlons, I believe. Uh, I can't remember who the other guy was. Dan O'Brien. And anyways, doesn't matter. There's your Caitlyn Jenner. Right there. I don't know what this is covering up. That's like a piece of black tape. I wonder if they. I wonder if they did this because they um, they left one person out. Maybe they have this over it. I wonder if this came like that. I'll have to check on the other one and see if there's black tape over it. I'll check the back. Compare it to that other one I had. Uh, let's see here. Another Carlton Fisk extended series. Uh, another $1 one. That's 92, I believe. 93. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Paul Correa. 96. He was a good Mighty Duck player, good hockey player back in the mid 90s and stuff. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh my goodness, you guys. This was the chase item David Need. Oh, he was going to be the greatest pitcher in Major League history. But he forgot how to pitch when he got to the Majors. So that's his, probably his rookie piece. All right. Ooh, Albert Joey Bell. He was a beast. I think he was on steroids and he had horrible anger problems. Moving right along, another Jeff Blake. Okay, 1996, so there's another double. All right, let's see here. And another double of Pat Swilling. That's his rookie. Okay, two more, everybody. Two more, another double of Steve Avery. And then the last one is a, the non-extended version of, so here's the extended and then the non-extended of Frank Thomas again, 1992. Different card, different poster, different figure altogether, so that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to pause the video for a second here. I'm going to count these up and tell you how many I got and how much I paid. Hold on. Okay, I just counted them all up. And there's 41, 41 uh, different individual packages. And a couple of them had two. So 41 separate uh, packages. And I, I paid a grand total of 20 bucks. All right, well, thanks, guys, for watching the video. Uh, check out the rest of my videos. Please hit a thumbs up, hit the like button, comment all you'd like, and if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask. Later. Bye, guys.